the uh, rectifier bridge and uh, <clears throat> come out of this coil and uh, go into the bottom of this one, come out of that one, go to this one, come out of this one, go to the bottom of that one, and the end of the turn, the other side of the bridge. Kind of funky the way they get them all phased in, but really only works one way. So, uh, yeah, this is what we're on. We're on the uh, 50 volt scale, and we're for what 42 volts or something like that. We're showing. Uh, oh, this is over scale. We're showing uh, 88 peak to peak for AC, 44 volts on the plus side. And uh, <clears throat> this is the cap filling up. Pretty nasty. Uh, but it's a 13,000 microfarad. I mean, it's filling pretty quick, but there's still no real power here. I don't think there is. Um, well, I mean, we'll see. I think uh, I'm going to do something different for the windings. Yep, ferrite core doesn't work nearly as good as a steel in between here. Um, played around with different windings. That's the ferrite. I had found four different kinds of windings on it. The better, best of the two was the heavy. Um, 50 turns, neat, real neat. Um, double flux post. I figured maybe it would make it easy for the flux to come in. This is a quad filer, uh, four wires barreled up. And uh, I messed around with them and played just powering one, and then two, and then three, and then four. Um, nothing spectacular. I, I think it was best when it was all, all four wires together being used as one conductor. Uh, but this didn't make a difference being wider from here to, to here, you know, going across. Figured, figured be an easier path for flux, but apparently it wants to be focused in. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, this is where we're setting that. That's uh, 45 volts, I guess. Pretty loud. That's the rise time. We're on the DC uh, 50 amp scale on that meter. So we're at uh, 30 now. Coming up on 40. 13,000 microfarad. That's what I got there. Oh. No, wait a minute, that's the wrong one. This is, uh, this is one that I got in there. So, uh, yeah, 13,000 microfarad rated for 50 volts. So, uh, I'm down to now. I need further work. Something different for the windings. Maybe, uh, Maybe I want to double up on the cores, go twice as wide, go this way with the Tecla coil. Maybe that's what I got to do. Maybe that's the trick. I tried the big Neos on here. Uh, fucking hell of a time getting them on and getting them off. It wasn't worth it. Uh, I could barely switch to flux at like 10 hertz maybe. You know, from one one hurt to uh, to about ten. After that, 
it started to get a little iffy. And I played with different coils again in the center. Um, got a lot of different combinations of everything. And this is the best I can come up with for what you see. So, I don't know. Keep looking, uh, keep playing around and uh, keep experimenting. See what happens.